what's up guys i am back in the flesh with another video on my way to the mall of america to drop off some more inventory for the brand for some of you that do not know i am in the mall of america at a store called tooth and nail we've been in there for about four months now and it's been awesome uh, i feel like that's how the brand has definitely been growing reaching a lot of different people when you're in the mall of america their plan is, is to try to get into a couple more different malls around the country, not just here in Minnesota. The work, the work don't stop. It's early in the morning and I gotta go and do this and this is one of the last things I truly wanna do right now, but gotta work, gotta grind, gotta pay bills. And that's what uh, I keep telling myself every day is keep grinding and keep working and everything will pay out at the end. It's all worth it. You got to believe in it. You got to have faith in it. You got to trust the process and you just got to do it. So uh, the, the, the brand did really well in 2020. I want to do a quarter more business of what I did then. In two, I want to do that in 2021, which means I got to work that much harder. I have, to, I have to grind, I have to promote myself more, I have to put myself out there more. The brand has to be put out there. So with, with that, it, it's very hard to, you know, when you set your, your numbers and goals for the year, especially when you have a business, you want to meet those numbers and even, even pass them. Uh, I've, I've met my numbers and passed them in 2020, which I'm thankful, I'm blessed with all the support and the love that all you guys have shown me and the people that I don't even know has shown me. It's just a really cool feeling. But at the same time, I gotta work harder. If I want more my numbers to go up, the only person that's gonna do that is me. So I'm gonna grind, I'm gonna hustle. Hopefully I can get a, uh, enough subscribers on, on here on YouTube to where I can have people just going right from my YouTube channel right to the website, which will be a huge, huge help um, with the company. And that's just about it, man. It's it's working and grinding. And that's as, as my videos go and, and stuff, yeah, I have fun. Don't get me wrong. You know, I, I go out, have a date night or, or go have some dinner or, you know, some drinks, whatever. I do do that. Don't get me wrong. I'm not just all over here just working and grinding. That's not what it's about. It's about living life, too, and having a little bit of fun. And trust me, I do that. But in order to do that, you got to work. You got to make yourself get to that type to where you can do those things. Um, you know, it, it, it just doesn't stop. So if I can do any of this shit, any of you guys can do this. It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of stress. It takes a lot of everything that you could imagine to do this. But I'm telling you, it's worth it. I would love for someone that watches this video to be like, yo, man, I, I, I'm going to do my own brand or I'm going to do my own car. I'm going to I'm going to start my own business. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. That's that's what I hope for. I want to show you guys and, and you guys are going to see this as videos go on and move forward into 2021 the processes that i do um, for my business and how i work with it um i will do do entails about that in videos of just that itself because i do get a lot of those questions i get a lot of those questions of yo man how did you get in with these manufacturers how did you get in with this and, and what's this name and what's that name and, and this and that and they're all great questions but right now I, i'm so focused on what i'm doing that I want to make sure that when I sit down and do a video that I, I'm, I'm on point with it, if that makes sense. I don't want to lead you guys in the wrong direction. It's the last thing I want to do. Um, have I learned Have I learned some shit with this? Of course. It's been, a, it's been, a, been an interesting ride and I've learned a lot in 2020 of the things that you can and, sh can and shouldn't do. Um, but I did it anyways, and I knew better I shouldn't have. You know, whether it's you working with a company and they screwed you out of out of inventory, or they they didn't send you the shit they were supposed to, or they didn't send you shit. Period. That's happened to me too. And then you try to go after them, but they're overseas. They don't give a shit. You know. So there's a lot of lot of stuff that I'm still learning, and I'm gonna learn even this year, and the next year, and the year after. If I'm not learning, we got a problem. So. Always remember that if you're not learning, you gotta get the fuck out your comfort zone because 
why keep in the same zone if you're not learning shit? You know what I mean? So, uh, we're on our way to the Mall of America. That was my little rant. On, the, on my way to the Mall of America, we're going to drop this shit off, and then we're going to hit the gym again. And uh, we got legs today. I kind of a little bougie uh, fucking gym, which I don't really care to go to all the time. But, you know, the wife wants to go there, so we'll go there today. And uh, you all see some little bit of uh, exercise that I do for legs. And that's the other thing, too. You know, like, I, I, I'm posting this stuff because I want you guys to be, in the, you know, in the gym and working out and, and working on your fitness, working on your health. Health is wealth, guys. If your health ain't shit, psh, you ain't got nothing, man. I'm going to be truthfully honest with you guys. And I'm not saying you got to go out there and push 400 pounds, 500 pounds, and all this heavy ass stuff. That's not for everybody. And that's not, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't expect anybody to do that. You know what I mean? So with, with that, I say just get in the gym, do your thing. You know what I mean? Who cares if it's 100 pounds? Who cares if it's 10 pounds? At least you're in there, you're working, you're grinding, you're doing your thing. That's what's up. Do a little bit of, do, do some cardio. Get your meals on point. Man, nothing better than feeling healthy and looking in the mirror and loving yourself and how you looked and what you worked for. It's amazing. It's amazing. So make sure that you all remember that health is wealth. Take care of your damn self. Let's get our asses to the Mall of America and make some damn money. Let's go. Alright guys, so I'm going to show you guys the leg press. There's a couple different virgin machines of leg press. This is going to be one of them that we have at our gym here. We also have another leg press over there, which is a different style. It's more of a platform, straight up and down. Which I'll show you guys that in a minute. But this one here is it kind of angled on a pivot, so I'll show you guys how this one works. I'm just doing some lightweight, higher reps today. So you sit back. Bench is already angled for you. This is already perfect for your, for your ass. Put your legs up. Shoulder width apart. Try to do your best on that to get them shoulder width apart on that. Lift up. What you're gonna wanna do, there's a lever down here. That's on the bottom here. Push that forward. You pull it up, it locks it. You lift up, push it forward. Now you can go down. Now when you're coming down, I don't want to see you guys as your ass. I don't want to see your back arching off the pad. That's terrible for you. As soon as you start feeling it come up, boom, back up. Here we go. Making sure that you're pushing on the heels. Also, never do this. Never ever lock your knees. You will blow your knees out when you go heavy. When you come in, boom, like that. You're coming down, back up. Never lock them. Never ever lock your knees. Safety, boom, comes back, set it down, and you're done. Now that's just a little bit of a, a little tu a tutorial on this machine. A lot of gyms have different machines. I always look it up. If you don't know what you're doing, look it up. It's all over YouTube, all over Google, whatever the case may be. I'll show you guys what I do as we keep going. This is just another style of leg press. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let's go.
So I'm gonna show you guys the leg extension. Now, this one is not a stationary, so this one kind of moves with you as you do it. Biggest thing for this machine, when you come up, hold and squeeze for at least two seconds. It's not all about weight. It's not all about how much you can move. It's about the form to get your quads and your, your thighs to get going. Adjust the seat. You're gonna want the back of your knee, the back of your knee, you want up against here. So when you push, it's there. Adjust your weight. Now when you come up, hold it, squeeze. Come back down, squeeze. Try to hold that for two seconds every time. Get that blood flow in there, squeeze. Some people really, really feel it right here the most. That's okay. Lower the weight. Again, it's not all about the weight. It's about the form on this machine. Getting that blood flow in there is huge. Hold it, squeeze. Keep doing your reps, 10 to 12, 15, high reps, whatever. But don't push yourself. You will break a kneecap real quick on one of these machines. You go too heavy and you do it wrong. Give it a try. Let's go. As you guys can see, the machine moves back and forward. Back and forward. Hard to hurt yourself on a machine like this. Just make sure you do the right weight. Hold it and squeeze. Guys, let's face it, I gotta do cardio. I don't like doing cardio. I hate every second of it, but it's much needed. So I'm on the treadmill right now, working it. That right there will say 25 minutes when I'm done. It's good for the heart too, guys health as well make sure you take care of yourself get it in let's go you know what i mean if you don't do it for anybody do it for yourself let's get this shit you could tell we had a good workout that's just some of the stuff that we do i don't want to sit here and overload you guys with a bunch of nonsense bullshit that you guys really don't care about sometimes so let's just be real show you guys some of the stuff that i do why i do it as we go, I'll show you guys more stuff as I do too. Like I said, this is unprofessional swole tips, man. I'm not a trainer. I never claim to be a trainer. I just do me and what works for me. So if you guys want to take that on and, and try it, go ahead and knock yourselves out. But it works for me and uh, that's what I got to say. So tonight we're about to go get some food, fill up these legs and get some grub. Let's go get it. It's kind of, it's kind of, it's like, kind of, oh, look at that. That's what we were like. Yeah, we, oh, and she pulled that, what, that 405. It's like, damn, what, huh? You are right. We did talk about that. No worries. Nothing for you. Nothing for you, babe. Everybody's just hating on her. Hi, guys. Hello. Oh, hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Guys, that is a wrap. Today was pretty damn simple. Brought the inventory to the Mall of America, had a hell of a workout, had some dinner with some friends, and kept it low key. Now remember, every time you wake up, every day you wake up, every time your feet hit the ground, wake up with a positive attitude. Negativity is not allowed. We do not like negativity. Remember that shit. I'll see you guys on the flip side.